guys my name is Lauren and welcome back to my channel I did something new today never done before and I'm really excited about it. a lot of you may have heard me gush about this wonderful fantasy book of the city of brass I found another copy in the thrift store and decided to do a thing with it notice anything different it's got shiny gold spread edges I I love this so much. It is not even funny. I'll take a close-up video of this because you just you need to see it. I used a really subtle gold on purpose and I'm glad I did. And it matches the cover rather nicely. So I filmed the process. First, let me tell you about the materials. It's really simple. You need a bunch of scrap paper. Newspaper works perfectly fine. I use newspaper. You need some 3mm painter's tape or 3M painter's tape. I use the delicate kind that's used for trimming and edges because that one sticks a lot less because the paint on the trim tends to come up easier. So if you use the kind that's used for like delicate corners and stuff, it's less likely to stick to the inside of your book and then pull up like paper off of the inside cover of your book when you pull it up so and then the only other thing I used was metallic gold spray paint this one is rust-oleum specialty metallic I got this one from the Home Depot and it cost me four or five dollars I think um you do have to be 18 and up to buy spray paint BT dubs also use the kind that's used for wood because if you use kinds of plastic and stuff Alright, so these are really the only two materials I need. I had extra newspaper lying around the house. And I'm going to show you how I did this. Okay, ready? Let's go. Okay, I want to apologize ahead of time for those of you who got like that sensory thing and you like people with the smooth, calm voices and it just puts you to sleep and gives you chills and she ain't got one of those. Okay, cool. Okay, what you see me doing here is like taping off the book and the edges so that when I basically compress the book so I don't get anything in between the pages of the book and nothing leaks over on to the edges and I'm really paranoid about that so I'm making sure there are no gaps. Now what you're about to see me do is realize that oh may maybe hmm yeah, may maybe that's not good enough just in case so I took some paper and covered the whole book because Lauren's paranoid so I taped it up to within an inch of its life. Um yeah so um like i said newspaper works i did, I had um white paper but newspaper was just there and i wasn't reading it so whatever now that box you see me having like i end up stacking a bunch of books inside that box because i'm going to use that as a weight now the book is taped i am about to fill this box with more books to provide the weight and they're inside the box so that if i get paint on it my books don't get sprayed books are the heaviest thing i have in my house so up there then i stacked some more books on top of it to add more weight because i was paranoid that wasn't heavy enough actually i wasn't paranoid like i felt it it wasn't heavy enough and then i put books that i didn't really too much care about and then i put the george martin books on top of that because there's no way like i was careful enough they they shouldn't get sprayed from that high up also, don't be a dumbass like me and do this shit outside because um, <laughs> I caught the bookshelves a little bit and the glass underneath the paper a little bit and my hands and yeah, I'm really careful. But um, a good distance away and a couple, it just really takes one coat, but I'm paranoid so I did a lot of coats and then I realized like from the direction I was doing, I missed the spot. So I flipped the book over, which you weren't really supposed to do until it dried, but I was impatient. So... Here we are 24 hours later and it is time to see what I got besides go paint all over my table and my phone and kind of sort of on the floor because I didn't do this outside like a dumbass. But I like it. I think it's pretty. It, it came out fairly, fairly well, I think. Now I can just take all this paper off and pray to God the paper doesn't stick to the book because that 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 would suck i mean the tape make sure the tape doesn't stick to the book that that would suck a lot so far though looks good now there was a spot and you'll see in a little bit there is a spot where i got a little bit of paint on the inside but i didn't realize at the time i painted it how much the gold that's on the book showed so at first when i flipped it open i was really paranoid and i was like crap i got it everywhere but those are pages i just got it on that one little tiny spot in the bottom but 
from far back you can't really tell and for like spraying the whole book that's the only spot it leaked a little that's not bad and that was the taping thing and not being careful so that ladies and gents are there any gents here i hope so so that ladies and gents is how i sprayed the edges of my lovely city of brass book i'm so excited i love this now i'm gonna be tempted to spray gonna come back and all my books will be facing this way and it's just gonna be rainbow colors everywhere yes 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 I am really pleased with the way this came out and that I really didn't get any gold paint everywhere except for all over my dining room table living room table I mean um the glass is already getting replaced in that anyway like it's on order before I even started this project so that worked out well so other than that minor splatter and then I didn't realize until I held up for camera how much the gold showed so it actually worked really well because the one spot I did get a little over, you can't even see it. Because the book was made with the gold in the, yeah. So I'm really pleased with this. Um, if you are going to try this, or if you have tried it, let me know what color you used or what color you would like to try it in. Let me know down in the description box. I'm so very happy with this. Um, that is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I will catch you later. Bye.